Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over this evening's MLB slate, specifically uh, from a Saber Sim perspective, uh, showing you how to use the new Contest Sims um, uh, technology to build your lineups. And I do this partially to help myself because I've been struggling with this a little bit. So uh, I wanted to go through this whole process. So more than almost any of these other videos that I claim to be the this to be the case. It's much less important who these lineups spit out today as going through the process of how they are being spit out. Um, this contest sim uh, uh, capability is really important to learn how to, how to, how to do. And uh, I'm learning myself and I'm getting a little smoother at it. And you are benefiting from my struggles. Let's put it that way. I just had to actually stop a, a previous video while I was doing this I ran into some issues, but I, I reached out to Jordan of Saberson, who was really helpful and uh, corrected some of my, my process errors with respect to how I get these things uploaded. So we're going to start this right from the beginning with today's slate. And what we're going to do is first thing, we're going to upload my uh, own projections here. Um, now, again, if you are a Saberson subscriber through TrueDFS, you will get these automatically uploaded, I believe. But you'll see that you know my projections and ownership kind of took over. So what we're going to do is we are going to build um, fifty lineups because that's it's, that's the amount of entries I have in the uh, in the relay throw. That's the of all the contests I'm in. That is the uh, contest where I have the most entries. So I don't really need to build more than fifty. So let's um, let's build fifty lineups. Keep the settings off over here. And again, the, the process is number one, you build your lineups. And then uh, after that, you run your contest sims because those are two different things. When you build your lineups, you can rank them you know, several ways, but it doesn't really take into account um, what the rest of the, the people are gonna do in that contest, okay? Um, and that's what contest sims, that's the real import of that is it, is it factors in size of pool, not only that, but what types of players that contest is likely to play. And it figures out what your ROI tends to be given your lineup, given what the Sims say um, for that particular lineup. So for tonight's builds, we're going to show you how to do that. And you'll see it built 5,000 lineups pretty quickly, but as, you know, as luck would have it, it's stalling in the last five seconds before it populates. So. Um, I can either pause this. No, here they go. They're loading right now. All right. So this is what the lineups would look like with no adjustments, no anything. Um, but it has this thing, Contest Sim, already highlighted. And the reason why is because I've already cheated and I built my Contest Sim settings. Okay. And what I went through is for all the contests I was in, I selected what contest size for that contest, percent to first, percent entries play, paid um, for all of them. And the other thing I did was I identified what the what field lineups I was looking to compare my lineups to. And so, for example, in the relay throw, which is the lottery at the pick flagship MMA, um, uh, on the other hand, for mega eights, you'll see, uh, I use the high stakes MME field and the contest size is lower and, and all these inputs are lower. Um, the other is all four, where less different contest size, same thing. I call this high stakes MME as well. And then for, we could actually check them all. Um, batter's eye, we picked, I think, mid-stakes MME for the field lineups, and we put the contest size in here. And then battery, single entry, um, high-stakes single entry, 550 people in, little lower percentage the first. So you have all these things in here, 
And then what we're going to do is run our contests in. So what it's doing is it's running the contest sim against all of these, these variables. And that's why it takes a little longer because you have five different inputs, five different sets of inputs. So there's one group of, of, of sims, one group of, of sim rankings and one group of lineups that are appropriate for the relay throw versus one group that are for the mega eights, one group for the mega ball four and one batter's eye, and one for battery. So usually running this contest sim button takes about 30 seconds, but here it's going to take a little bit longer. So I'm going to pause this for just a moment while this finishes. It actually fired right back up there again. So what we have to do is go through each of these and and pick the um, and pick the uh, each one. So let's start with the relay throw. So relay throw, we're going to sort these by ROI. See it all sorted by ROI. And then since there are fifty lineups, we're going to save all of these to my contests. And since I already uploaded the um, these contests, we're going to go back and relay throw. We're going to save this to contests. And you see that it changed. And then we're going to go into um, Mega Eights, pick ROI again. We're only, we only need one lineup in there. Same thing. We're going to hit save to contests. Mega eights, save. There aren't enough lineups. 49 lives need to be duplicated. So let's see what's going on here. Um, oh, I see. So save to my contests. I only want, oh, not relay throw, right. I want mega eights. Perfect. Mega eights. Good. Now we'll go, we'll do ball four, ROI. Save to my contests, ball four, boom. Then we'll go to batter's eye, ROI. Um, save to my contests, batter's eye. Oh wait, we actually need three lineups for batter's eye. Save to my contests, you see it all messing around up there. And then we'll go to uh, the last one, which is battery, single entry, sort by ROI, but we only need one. Very good. Uh, save to my contests, battery, and save. Okay, so now we're gonna just, we could just download all these to um, my, uh, my entry file, but we could also change stuff still. We could do bin uniques for say the battery. Battery won't actually help. Um, but what we could do is let's go back into say the uh, relay throw. We'll go back into here and then we're gonna change this to min uniques too. Wait, this is the wrong one. Oh, okay. so. We got to go back to 50 lineups. Forgot about that. We have the 50 lineups. Relay through ROI. Min Uniques 2 now. Save this to my contests. Change this to uh, Relay Throw. So um, there's no other need to make Unique 2s because the rest are basically one or three entries. So let's um, download the entry file. And then we will upload this and I want to see if something happens, which happened last time. I think it will, but let's see. So we'll see what, what these look like on DraftKings and you'll see that four of the lineups actually showed up. One lineup showed up in, you know, almost all of the builds except for the single entry. 
that's because they really, really liked it. You know, in, no matter which contest size, this lineup looked really, really strong. Um, now, what Jordan showed me that one of the things you could do is you change this to build 56 lineups. And this way it ends up, uh, you know, uh, given pretty much mostly all uniques. Okay. So we could actually do that right now. And then we'll um, save this to my contests. We can, let's do this. And then again, we will download an entry file. Now I forgot whether I needed to do that same trick for all of them or just the relay throw, maybe for all of them. Yeah, I think that was the case actually. So let's just do that. Let's uh, again, save to my contest and we're gonna do it for like all of them. I think that's going to make the difference. Maybe not. Let's see. Um, yep, so now we have all unique lineups. Now, I might not necessarily want this, but that's that's the deal. So now what you could do is you could just go back and, and, and see what you have here. You know, like um, you look at, uh, at uh, team stacks and you'll see that in the relay throw, I'm getting about, you know, a full, what, 39% Texas, 33% Oakland, 30%. Tampa. And that makes sense considering that, you know, they're going to be very, very low owned relative to say like the Dodgers who, well, or, or even Atlanta or whatever it is. Um, and even Arizona, which is usually going to be a good play with kind of the single entries, which you'll see in a minute, but because this is the, the relay throw, you know, you need to get just a lot more different. Okay. Um, and then on the other hand, when you go into, and then you can mess around if you want. Like if you didn't want, you know, too many, like three, three, twos, for example, you could change that if you want. And if you go back to say the other ones, like the um the mega eights, let's see. I think this is the main mega eight lineup. I think this is what we're probably getting here. See, that one's got more like Arizona or whatever. So uh, that's pretty much it for today. We're going to try to do this every day to do kind of a, a run through contest sims to see what we get for the day and just kind of learn how to be a little smoother about how to get this stuff done.